Hi, we're Ian and Julie. Follow us on our tiny homestead and our debt-free project of a lifetime, the building of our shipping container home here in the Pyrenees, and all of this alongside our full-time jobs. I want to thank a ferry for sponsoring today's video and for supplying us a 1200 watt portable power station. And in the box you get the actual portable power station 1200 watt, you get a little bag with the cables and it comes with uh, for us an EU plug but it's also available with Australian, US, Swiss and UK. So it comes with a solar input cable with an Anderson plug and an MC4 connector. Um, we don't have the solar panel with it but we can use it with our existing solar panel because this will take an 11 and a half volt to 50 volt input. The manual is in German, English and Spanish so that's pretty good and it comes with a little dust cover. I think just for storage because there are, there's actually no ventilation covers in at all. <laughs> I've just charged up the unit, first time charged. Now they do recommend three and a half hours for the first charge, but this went from 26% to 100% in less than an hour. Um, that was pretty good. It goes in a hyper mode or something anyway, I'll show you that on the screen. But um, right, ready to go and uh, test this thing out. We picked up this little trailer just down the road um, from our off-grid plot actually. It was in the garden with a for sale sign on it so we, we picked it up for Julie's little old car but because that little old car is not really in service at the moment I uh, quickly put a small tow bar, tow hitch, on the back of the mower. Because the tractor is uh, up at the off-grid plot, uh, we needed something to get all the bits and bobs around to the poly tunnel and the homestead. So this, this works perfectly for now. All right. We are gonna put this little uh, ferry, 1200 watt power station, through its paces. So we've got a bit of strimming to do. We've got um, battery charges for our Makita strimmer. We've also got to check the electric fence because I think the, um, the battery is absolutely dead and that was the cause of my um, the solar controller not working. So we're gonna, I've got the battery charger now just in case. Um, we've also, because there is no power in there for the, uh, um, the pump, the irrigation pump, we're gonna stick this on the irrigation pump and just get some water in that polytunnel because it is sort of starting to heat up now. So to power this beast up, you have to press the power button for three seconds. There we go, all on. On the front is your standard um, light, basically flashlight, SOS and strobe. And that's pretty good when we go to the uh, off-grid property, go in the garage, um, pitch black, great to have the light on just so we can get the actual AC connection in there um, and get the garage door up. On the front we have six USBs, two standard, four USB-Cs and one of those is 100 watt charging, so fast charging. You've got your 12 volt car socket and a couple of other 12 volt um, sockets here also. On the, this end, this is where I just uh, charged it up from, the AC, 240 volts. You've also got a socket here for the solar and the 12 volt from the car. And that runs from 11 and a half volts to up to 50 volts. So my 48 uh, volt solar panels will be perfect for this. Also, you've got the reset button just in case you try and push it a little bit too far. Nothing on the back here, just um, the specification. On the other end, you've got all your fans and cooling and your output, your AC output here. So two EU outputs. I'm assuming in other countries you might have a, a couple more just because your outlets are smaller. And to turn them on, turn any of these uh, USBs, 12 volts or the AC, you have an individual button here that you just press on to activate these outputs. Nice sunny weather's here, so are the flies. So it's back on with the mask for Tyson. No more head shaking. First things first, I'm going to do a little bit of strimming.
That seems to work pretty well. You can't see it at all because of the sun is on the screen, but I squinted and maximum it was going up to about 550 watts. And that gives you three hours, it says on the screen. So three hours of streaming is pretty good going. Right, the streaming's done. Now we've got a problem with the electric fence. The battery is dead flat. Instead of Julie bringing that battery back to the house all the time to charge, we thought we'd bring the power to the battery. So we're gonna give it a go, see if we can charge it up and get the electric fence back on. So I've connected the, uh, the battery charger to the Athery. I've got my battery charging now, and hopefully you can see that. It's only about 80 watts but there's plenty in there to get this battery up to full charge. Meanwhile, I've got my smaller unit in and my solar controller is now working. It's been charging for about an hour and a half, so it's popped it up just under 12 volt, so I can get it in parallel with this smaller battery so the solar controller can take over and that'll charge off the solar. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take this a ferry 1200 watt power, portable power station up to the off-grid plot because I've got some concrete holes to drill and uh, a few other little tasks. Right, I want to test out this AFRI portable power station 1200 watt with my irrigation system. Now we were here the other day and we didn't have a cable that we could connect to the solar. But he went back to the workshop, he made me a emergency power cable here so now as you've seen in previous videos, we have had a few problems on and off with our solar system that runs all the water systems for me. Now I'm going to disconnect oops, this cable from my solar on top of the shelter here. This one here made me just plug him in, connect the two like so. There we go, connect the two, turn the power on and then turn the 12 volt on we use the timer system here but for the purpose of now I'm just going to put it into manual and check if it ooh, hey, works ooh, let's see if it's dripping certainly dripping yeah it's working perfect and I've only just planted these lettuces Showing I have, uh, it's using 145 watts, which allows me six hours of usage. Six days, because I have it on, wow, 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes of an evening. So that would give me six solid days of use. That's great. Right, I'm back up the plot. Um, I've just put in this drainage cover and manhole, basically. Uh, I don't know what they're really called, but um, it's three sections. Uh, the actual unit down below and then I've got two extender sections and the top one is going to connect this surface drain into the manhole. So I've got to basically drill a hole through this concrete block so this then slides back and covers this plastic pipe. Afterwards I'll backfill with cement to make it all tidy. But basically we've had a lot of rain and I just want to get rid of the water from this section and push it that way until we can get some proper drainage and soakage put in. Soakage, a, a soak hole put in. Um, so that's today, and I'm gonna use the a ferry 1200 watt portable power station to get my big drill going and get through this concrete. I'm so worried that this is gonna break because it's such a thin piece. So I haven't got it on hammer mode, I've just got it on normal drill mode. That's why it's taken a little while. But the Aferi uh, power station is holding up really well. So it says I've got about an hour of this constant drilling. Hopefully it's not gonna take that long. Can I just charge my battery? Yeah.
We've got all our jobs done, loads of power left, raining, coffee time. One thing you have to do, and they re recommend it, is always turn off the power you, you're not using. Here comes the rain, because um, this will actually utilize 10 to 15% just because the inverter and things are on. So turn all those off and it will last a long, long time. Also, this will never go right down. The BMS, the battery management system, will always allow 10% of battery in this unit. Even though the display may say 0%, it will keep 10% in there and that allows the battery to have much longer uh, longevity basically and it'll last a long long time. So I want to really thank Aferi for supplying this portable power station to us to test out, try out and to use now in our garage, our build, our off-grid homestead and at the house as well for emergency use as a, a uninterrupted power supply. As you know, we have quite a few power outages here and our freezers are susceptible to uh, losing all our good food. So if you like this video, stick the thumbs up and hit that subscribe. All the information for this unit will be down in the description. See you next time.